There's a butyl rubber with an adhesive. And then the aluminum top coat, so helps with vibration, cuts down road noise. Same stuff we use inside the car. So over the top of this, we'll put a some jute padding and then the carpet. So throw a dead body back here, it doesn't make any noise. I made a shelf that sits back here. And on that is the subwoofer, the amplifier. I've got two batteries wiring them in parallel. So I've got a little more power, not just for the stereo, but gonna be running a power inverter off there. So just wanted a little extra battery power there. So once this goes in, then I can tuck that in. Then I can go ahead and finish off the trunk here. I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't uh, starting to get stressed out with this timeline that I gave myself here because I'm not crossing enough stuff off this list. I'm adding stuff faster than I can cross it off. But somehow I'm going to get it done. All right, arm day. I'm going to start with underbars, four sets of 12, then over bar curls. That's going to be four sets of 10. Standing bar curls, four sets of 10. So there's our arm workout. So let's start with those underbars. So we're going to be doing these right here on a bar. Now, if you got a, a bench like this where you've got a high side of the rack, you want to be facing that because we're going to be literally going underneath the bar. So pushing the bar this way, you don't want to do it the other way because the bar can hop out of there, fall off and you're going to fall on your face. That's no good. So this is a triceps extension exercise. So this is going to mimic that motion like you would with a skull crusher. What we're going to do when you drop down, this isn't in the shoulder. This is all in the elbow. So it's going to look just like this. Try to keep your shoulder position relatively the same. So down underneath and extend back. Now if you want to increase or decrease resistance, change the height of your bar. The lower the bar, the more you're going to have to move your own body weight, the harder it's going to be. If you need to make it a little easier, you can raise the bar up and get it more out in front of you. But it's going to be the exact same motion. If you've picked up some chains like I did, that's another way you can increase resistance. It's like doing bar dips. You just throw them right over your shoulders. It's hot as usual, Florida summer. Let's get ready to sweat. Let me welcome everybody to the wild, wild west A state that's untouchable like Ellie and Ness The track is your ear drawn like a sweat to your chest Like a vest for your Jimmy in the city to set We in that sunshine state for the bomb ass in me The state where you never find a dance floor empty and pimp speed On a mission for them greens Lean, lean, money-making machines Loving dreams I've been in the for 10 years Making black tunes All right that was four sets of 15. So we're gonna move over to our first biceps exercise. So we're gonna do a bent over bar curl. Grab this easy curl bar here. And we're gonna go ahead and bend over. You can see our arms are out in front of us. So this is gonna mimic a preacher or even you could uh, think of it as like a spider curl without a bench. So starting here, Curling right to our face, almost to the bridge of your nose. And controlling on the way down. Out on the road, what's out of jail, California dreaming. Soon as I step on the scene, I'm hearing who be screaming. Paying for money and alcohol, the life of a West Side player with Cal Stock. And it's all more. Only you catch what we buy it, not rallies to live and die. In LA, where it just not rallies. Yeah, that's what I do. <sighs> Sweating like a pig. So when doing these, don't just 
pump them out. You want to get that little pause at the top, get that peak contraction. Really feel that muscle ball up and then control it on the way down. Get that peak contraction every time. Pretend you're flexing. If someone said flex your bicep, you flex it as hard as you can. Every rep should feel that way. All right, let's go. There it is. All right, halfway through. That's our first biceps exercise. Now we're going back. Well, I was gonna say we're going back to triceps, but we're not. We're finishing biceps first. So we're gonna do standing curls. All right, so we're gonna use the same bar that we just used. But what we're gonna do is a standing curl. Now the biggest mistake that I see people make when they're doing standing curls is they use momentum, they swing their body back and forth to help swing the bar up. That's usually because they're trying to go too heavy. So that's mistake number one. And number two, same thing with their arms. They start bringing their arms out in front of them. So instead of their elbows being pointing down towards the ground, they end up pointing out here in front. So we're gonna go up against the wall. We're gonna press our back into the wall, but we're also gonna press our triceps into the back of the wall. So that's gonna keep us from swinging and it's also gonna keep our elbows in a fixed position the entire time. All right, back against the wall, triceps against the wall. Here we go. Just like our other curls, same thing. When you get to the top, don't stop short. Squeeze all the way up, and then as soon as you get to the very top, give it that little extra squeeze, peak contraction, and then control that eccentric, the negative, and squeeze it back up. So this way there's no swinging, arms aren't rocking back and forth. It's just a good, solid squeeze. Get that squeeze every rep on the 10 reps. So we got four sets of these, four sets of 10 before moving on to our last exercise. Everybody has a favorite, favorite training day. For me, I've always liked arms. I think that's why it was easier for me to build arms, just because I enjoy training them more. And that's actually one of the secrets to building a body part, is you just have to make it a mission to train it, and it helps if you love training it. So if you don't like training a body part, you hate leg day, learn to love leg day. You hate chest, learn to love chest. All right, fourth final exercise. We're gonna do some dips on the end of the bench here. Now, just like with the underbars, if you wanna make these harder, there's a couple things you can do. One thing is you can elevate your feet. So the higher you get your feet, the harder it's gonna be because then you're gonna be pressing more of your body weight. We can put some weight on our lap. When you don't have machines, you gotta get a little creative. Sometimes it takes a few more minutes to get set up, but where there's a will, there's a way. This is, in a way, mimicking that triceps kickback because when you do a kickback, if you look at your elbow position relative to your body, your elbows are back here. So we're doing the same thing in these bench dips. So trying to mimic the arm position, not necessarily the movement, but the arm position and the tension that it's putting on the muscle. So whether it's your biceps, triceps, any body part, depending on how you move or you position yourself, it's gonna put tension on the muscle in different ways. So that's the purpose for doing different angles. Especially 
like triceps where you've got three heads to the triceps or biceps where you have two heads to the biceps. You want to go ahead and, and try to target one area over the other. Notice I said target, not isolate, because you can't isolate. You're always going to be using the full muscle, but we can emphasize an area more than others. That was fast, but that was good. So two exercises for triceps, two exercises for biceps. Got some uh, different arm positions in there to work the different heads of the muscle. Short head of the biceps, long head of the biceps, all three heads of the triceps. So that's a wrap. Be back out here tomorrow. Make some progress on the car. Clean up the mess in the garage. Because it's a pig pen. But that's it for tonight.